Hey, I'm Ian. Chris. We crashed the party and this is our dream tour. So, the first band that I would add to our dream tour is the Beach Boys. Um, they're my favorite band of all time, but uh, the Beach Boys have had several generations of members come and go, and I think there's one member that the real Beach Boys fans truly despise, and that's Michael Love. <laughs> He's, he not not allowed, he's not allowed on my, my dream tour with the Beach Boys. Um, Brian Wilson, of course, is the best Beach Boy. Not the the cops right though. now are going to get Mike Lowe, so he can't show yeah, up to the streets. He's a criminal, he truly is. So He's not coming on our tour, but the Beach Boys would rock and roll all night long, sweet Susie. Uh, my first band would be The Rocket Summer, or Bryce Avery. Uh, he's been my inspiration and idol for as long as I can remember. The stage presence and performance that he puts on, uh, you really feel it, and there's nothing better than actually being able to feel every word that an artist is saying. So yeah, there, there's nothing better to me than uh, seeing a musician um, that really gives off everything you want to feel at a concert. He makes you want to be there, and he makes you feel happy, and you leave feeling like you've, you've gained something, like an, a new life. You're ready to go do more. So that's, that's my first. You know, I was just thinking about this. I was originally going to say one band, but I'm going to change my selection. What if I take? Okay. Based on a conversation that I had with Bryce Avery of The Rock of Summer <laughs> one time. I'm a big fan of The Rock of Summer as well. I'm not as big as this guy. But um, we saw him one time. We got to hang out a little bit. And I asked him, you know, I hear a lot of uh, Todd Rundgren in your music. And I'm wondering if you were influenced by him in any way, shape, or form. And he just kind of goes, I don't, I've never heard of that dude. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, okay, well, this, under the this is, uh, I don't mean, no offense uh, to Bryce, but he's one of my idols, but um, I, I felt uncomfortable in that situation because I thought I was making him feel it. Anyways, I, <laughs> my, what I propose here is that we have Todd Rundgren on the tour. Um, you guys might know him if you're not familiar with him already from that stupid song, uh, Bang on the Drum All Day, which is far from his best work, but... Um, then we could introduce him to the Rock of Summer and they could be like, oh man, yeah, they like, could write. our songs have so oh, much in common. They yes. could write together and maybe we could write with them. Yeah, and, uh, that, would, boys that would be a party that I'd want to be invited That'd be to. the weirdest song slash tour ever. It's only going to get more weird because since you didn't say it, I would, I would want ABBA on tour. Okay, <laughs> fine. Thank I, you. I don't really need Thank any you. explanation for that other than who wouldn't want to have ABBA on a tour. That would be favorite bands a party in itself. Yeah. Being Maybe. able to watch all this every night. Oh, are you saying it in a joking way? Because I really no. respect what? Abba. They've got good music. <laughs> Me? And like, yeah, you just said it was it would kind of be like kind of funny, but if we roll the tape back, there's no me saying it would be funny. Making a mockery of Abba. I hope Not I didn't cool. say that. Not cool. So yeah, that, that, that's pretty that much our dream tour. tour.